it's one of my favorite things I've ever done. I do a new ad a week, you know. I rarely remember some of them. I was, you know, working with somebody I like, and Josh Escobel is definitely one of those people. I went down to Long Beach Aquarium and hung out with Josh. I haven't seen Josh in probably 17 years, but I remembered him because I really liked him, and I had a lot of fun working on that spot, and I knew it was good. I believe the lead actor has been in a bunch of shit. I think he played John Turturro's cousin in Brother Where Art Thou. Yep, that's the guy from the boat Brother Where Art Thou. Troubles, hearts, sand bubbles, who's on the run? The chickens were hilarious. I still remember this. Oh my god. I did all the sound design. They typically like editors do sound design and then um, sound designers rip it off. You know, we get paid to do work and everything. That's a great fucking spot. Josh was a client of mine, and they just bring us business. You know, it doesn't really matter what it is. He just hit me up, said I had this spot. Let's do it. And I was available. I would, usually we don't say no because we just want to be working. In 2002, we were still getting three quarter inch videotape. It was before files. File-based editing, we really didn't start to do on a regular basis until like the late 2000s. In 2002, we would do DVD exports to send them cuts. We would receive footage on three-quarter inch tape, which were, of course, analog. And then we'd have to just play them real time and capture them in the computer. And then the assistants would go in and find the scene breaks and create a log with basically the shoot. And then I would edit non-linear, digital. Josh and I would sit for five to ten days and it was really just he and i i remember the chicken scene these were sort of wild chickens you know they had them running around there was one chicken who like really performed and he did this look at camera and josh stopped me and he's like that's the look we want it's kind of like the look where you catch yourself smelling your own fart that's what he said and i was like that's hilarious and they of course took that moment and that's where you see the frozen chickens they actually put that in post you know special effects were really taking off at that time I was really impressed with the effects work that they did, the CGI. I think we did a 60 second version of this spot, but it probably doesn't exist because they didn't pay for it. I didn't know when I edited the spot that, that was going to be a part of it. So when Josh told me we were doing that, I was like, oh man, that sucks. I don't want to do that. It's going to ruin the picture. I just wanted to see the imagery. Didn't want to be following some bouncing dragon on a tile. But then we built the titles roughly and then animated a rough ball. And then he did, you know, he put the, the final touches on it and finished. And I thought it, you know, it was a good call. It actually turned out good. Back then they had to do like game captures. Capture it to your specs. You'd ask them for specific things. Or they would just send you selects of what they wanted to promote. As then, as is now, they would always be kind of guarded about what they wanted to release and what they were able to give up, you know. I, I remember, you know, a lot more about that particular spot than I would about others. Because, like I said, I thought it turned out really well. I just was, I really enjoyed working with Josh and it was unique. Like, I hadn't done anything else quite like that.